Welcome to Foster Care with Ryan Foster. Coming to me live, Mike. How are you feeling? Feeling good. You I know, didn't go on this. You know what this trip. is? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw it on this Instagram. This is. Uh, are we dating the same guy, in Philadelphia? Ah, <laughs> uh, you guys tried to get me. I don't know who tried to get me. But yeah, who did you do? Shocker! A lady, a lady, fucking organization got taken down from the inside. It's almost like you guys don't support each other. That's crazy. I don't know. I don't know who did it. I'm assuming it was like somebody trying to prank me and be like, "We're banging this guy. We're banging your boyfriend." And um, yeah, and I posted it, and then it was taken down. I had I had broads on the inside scurrying around in there. I got spies. I got like what are those called eunuchs? Remember from Game of Thrones, the guy with no dick? I got a bunch of those running around in your organization, <laughs> trashing you. They got my boy Doug. Shout out to him. And then I saw somebody else I know his boyfriend got caught on there, and I'm like innocent on all charges until you know what I mean. Like, how what are you gonna? You, you just get you brought up in a court of law and get lynched by some fat lady that figures <laughs> out you did it. It's like, dude, not happening with me, chief. I'm untouchable. It's also like all my friends are like, are you actually cheating? I'm like, no. I'm also, if I was cheating, you think I'd post the picture on Instagram? That would be a baller move. I wouldn't put it past me, but I didn't. <laughs> but what were you about to say? Uh, how did you like hear about it? Someone sent you it. Somebody sent me a screenshot. Somebody's f- my friend's girlfriend's friend sent her a screenshot. So good luck getting that out of me. Not gonna happen. What are you gonna burn me with a hair strainer to like give up the information? Not gonna happen. And in the comments, some girl was hyping the podcast. <laughs> she was like, "I like it." Some girl thought my name was Tyler. You guys can't even get the information right. Well, fucking keep it together, dude. Go watch Sex in the City. Relax. But yeah, they tried to get me. They tried to, you know, who else tried to get me? The guy, when I pull up to my house, I'm literally in my work truck, pull up and he puts his face like, right. My bro, as soon as you hear my, uh, they, they start bringing up religion in the, and as soon as they say hi to you, I'm like, I don't have $5. I don't have it. He's like, well, I just, he's like my daughter. I just got a phone call that I, that I need to get back to her real quick. And I need $5 and 50 cents. I'm like, listen, if that's what you're missing from being in your daughter's life, she's better off without you chief. How about that? You know what I mean? Like, I can't. And why are you wearing that? <laughs> he had like a whole white socks outfit. Homeless guys have too much swag now. They, they, you know what I mean? Like, just say you want it for heroin. You're more likely to get it from me if you're like, I need to slam some heroin. I need fentanyl immediately. I'd give it to you. You might get me. I don't have it in me. My neighbor's back out of jail. So I'm assuming that's he's his boy. He's trying to get a fresh package. So I'm like, dude, I can't. I, I leaned out the window and yelled at him. He's fresh out of jail, so he's let his hair grow in. And I'm like, brother, shave it again because it looks like shit. He's got like a super big forehead. I like a guy with a super big forehead, though. I feel like girls, some have like a real noticeable forehead. Yeah, like, you like project a movie nice. onto it. It's like huge. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, sometimes it's kind of hot. Yeah. Well, there is like good. There's good things that people can have that make like an interesting quality, I would say. And then you're like, not the best looking feature, but on some people it works. Like who's good? Like Jewel, Snaggletooth, love it. Julia Roberts, big old mouth, love it. A mole. Steven Tyler's got a big mouth too. <laughs> From Aerosmith, me and my buddy were just talking about that. I'm like, no way you have that big of a mouth as a man. You're not gay. It's just a waste. What are you eating, hoagies with that fucking thing? Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I ain't, I ain't, I'm not buying it. How was the weekend? It was good. I didn't go snowboarding. I just chilled. Pathetic. What'd you do? Breweries. With friends. Breweries? Yeah. Did you get a couple IPAs? Yes, sir. Yeah, Always. we went on a brewery tour and you're like, usually when you have like a brewery, like brewed beer, you're like, this tastes, I can hate how much you hate, like I can taste how much you hate your family in this beer. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's two guys fighting their, home, their fucking sexual, their sexuality. Am I good, dude? I had a stressful day at work. I'm going to pull it together. But yeah, how'd that go on? I had a show, I did a show in Delco with Pet for Peggy on Friday. That was a fun show, but I got a little too sauced afterwards, got in a fight with the old lady. I got her on the ropes, so I'm slowly breaking her will. Eventually, she's going to be like, come home whenever you come home. <laughs> you know, that's what I'm going for. I don't negotiate with terrorists, but I'm going to an Italian feast tonight. I'm pumped for that. Are you a gelato man? What What's a gelato? Gelato. You yeah, don't know what sorry. gelato is? It's I like know, some kind of whipped ice cream... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Rita's sells that shit. Rita just stinks. <laughs> I hate Rita's. I've always hated it. Chunks in the fucking water ice. I'm like, don't try to convince me this is real fruit because it's not. It's yeah, like, like rubber. Cherry flavor. Yeah, it's like dyed rubber chunks. Fucking tastes like a yoga mat. Our food supply is done, apparently. <laughs> so these people, I don't know. I'm kidding. <laughs> They're like trained derailments. All the fucking food processing plants are burning. I'm like, dude, I don't know. If it goes that sideways, I'm just going to kill my neighbor and take their ramen. You know, like if it gets that bad, I'm like, I don't want to be around anyway. 
You know, I saw some video that I guess a police a police training facility in Atlanta got taken over by Antifa. I was like, how the cops are getting ran over by lesbians now? They had like a bunch of road flares just shot them into their facility and took them down. Is but, Antifa like controlled by the government? I don't know. I don't read, Mike. I don't Antifa know does sound like an FBI. That's just lesbian FBI. <laughs> Antifa. It's just we just had to more add more letters. Did you see that FBI agent shot that dog <laughs> down Center City the other day? No. Apparently there was like an aggressive pit bull, and uh, the dog ran at her. And she fucking like double tapped this dog in the head, <laughs> like on a sidewalk. <laughs> Which damn. Got to keep that dog on a leash. Shout out my Vic. What if it just wanted to be pet? Pet? No, I think. I mean, you could tell when a dog wants a pet. That dog wanted a bite. Wanted a bite of some fucking FBI cheeks. Cop ass has to taste the worst. <laughs> like a kind of a per. You have gotta have so much stress in that body. It's like when you shoot a deer and it hears you coming. <laughs> you're like, you can't kill a cop. There's bad eating. I was. Do you watch Last of Us? Are you watching that? No. Mm. You ask me every week now. Yeah, it's like you the only show, show. It's the only show I've been watching. Yeah. Because it's like the only that that's happened, and then Murdoch got fucking. Do you see the Murdoch trial? No. He was a ginger that got accused of killing his family. And I'm like, lock him up just solely based on the hair. How do you kill him? She apparently shot him. Shot the wife, shot the kid. And everybody's like, oh, he shot the wife and the kid. I'm like, well, what are you going to start? You're going to go on living life with one kid and no wife? Kill them. We got to start a clean slate. I don't know, dude. I feel like I'm slurring my words again today. I wonder what the objective is. Like, are they going to think like they're free I think insurance that? money. Or do they I'm know just, they're going to jail? No, he's going to liggity life, brother. <laughs> and he's like a rich guy from South Carolina. He's not going to have a good time. But I don't know. Everybody else is in prison. Everybody else I love. No one else is getting in prison. The people who booked Rolling Loud. Have you seen that? No. Rolling Loud's like a music festival. I guess they do them in L.A. and... Uh, LA and Miami and they had the alchemist there you ever hear him yeah he was like I a big him. producer when I was a kid and uh he does a lot I of mean, stuff still for does. yeah but yep. he went out and rapped hold you down which is like a song from when I was in like high school and the whole crowd's just not moving at all like and people were like this is disrespect I'm like why did you book him at the autistic kid music festival it's like ice but he's got to come out before ice spice everybody wants to hear that fucking retard She's like, I mean, it's just literally autistic. Like, it sounds like, you know what I mean? What are those things like a mobile that spins above a kid's crib? You know what I mean? That's what that's that's what those beats sound like. You're like, this is like, this is, it sounds like a six year old had a fucking keyboard and made these beats and it's like SpongeBob music. It's like, just be a stripper, Ice Spice. You're hot. You can't like, I don't know. It's important as you get older to hate everything that you don't, you don't understand or agree with. Everything's just like a TikTok rap now. It's killing me. I don't know. And then Con I saw Con because I guess Kim Kardashian met up with uh, uh, Ice Spice and was like making Con like making TikToks. And Kanye West was like, "I warned you about this shit." Kanye West is that's who's going to clean sight his family, dude. If he kills all the Kardashians and his kids, that would be upsetting. But you would get some banging music from jail. That's what they should do with all like good artists that get arrested and have to go to jail. Just give him work release, dude. Stick him in a studio. Yeah, let's in get him jail, dude. Let him, dude. Him and R. Kelly locked up together. <laughs> Bangers. Bangers. From banging kids to banging out tracks. That'd be good. That'd be good stuff. There's a lot of pedos going on. A lot of pedo. Everybody thinks there's like all these pedophile rings. Well, I guess there is pedophile rings after Epstein. There was like, well, looks like Alex Jones was right. Hmm? Genius. Songbird of our generation. That happened. What else? Did you watch UFC on Saturday? No. I did watch. Ah, <laughs> John Jones was calling himself the goat. And he was like, do you speak goat? Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> I swear to God. It was so. I love watching John Jones get interviewed because he tries to like he's thanking God so much. And like, uh, I don't know. He's trying to pretend like he's a reformed man. I'm like, dude, just be the piece of shit you are, dude. It rules. And everybody's like, oh, he's a piece of shit. I'm like, yeah, we are watching like a simulated beat to death match <laughs> in a cage. Like I'm okay with, I hate when people are like, ah, oh, this guy's a bad role model for my kid. I'm like, well, be a better dad. <laughs> you know, I don't know. I never watched anything when I was a kid. I would be like, I, I want to be just like that guy. I'm like, no, he runs well and catches balls and throws well. Like, I don't give a fuck about the kind of person the guy is. Yeah, I've never really looked up to famous people for any reason. Yeah, I, I mean, they're sick. Yeah, I, that would be sick to have a, make a living, never losing fights, just beating the brakes off of guys. That has to be a t pretty tight life. He's also got like a Belgian Malinois that he trains. Have you seen that? 
Is that a dog? Yeah, you know those dogs? They'll like run into like, there's like carjacking videos and shit, and they'll train the dogs to go into the car and bring the guy out. What? And I'm just like, can you imagine if you're a Kia boy, you just broke into somebody's key, you got a USB, you're smoking a blunt with your boys, and a goddamn dog jumps through the window and rips your shit apart? What a fucking bummer, dude. You can't, you can never play video games again because all the ligaments are ripped out of your fucking wrists. Oh. Tough. Do you ever get bit by a dog? No. No, me neither. I don't think so. I've gotten I've like mistakenly bit. bit. I would like to someone get mauled to death by a dog. <laughs> well, one of my enemies, that guy that just asked me for money on the corner. I wish I had a Bell- Belgian Malamata sick on that motherfucker. I, um, yeah, that was good. But during the UFC this weekend, I guess they're filming Roadhouse right now. And they like filmed Jake Gyllenhaal doing like weigh-ins and then fighting a guy in the octagon. And it, you know how fucking pissed I would be if I was hammered and the UFC was taking longer because I had to watch an, a fucking actor hop around and pretend to beat the shit out of somebody? That would drive me nuts. Never heard of Roadhouse. Oh, my God. I know, I know. God. <laughs> the original's so good. It's, a, it's one of those really bad good movies. Like, it's a bad movie. But, like, Patrick Swayze, he's like a bouncer, and he, like, gets trained by this other guy, and he's, like, fighting somebody. He's like, pain don't hurt. That's, like, one of the famous lines from the movie. But it's, a, it's just a, a bar fight movie down south. And he ends up beating up the band racist guys. But they're remaking it with Conor McGregor and Jake Gyllenhaal. <laughs> PED actors. <laughs> they're all on PEDs now. Everybody's like, dude, he's in great shape. I'm like, yeah, he's fucking out of his mind on testosterone. Are the fights, like, real? No. It's choreographed? Like a choreographed fight, yeah. yeah. No, what do you think? They're going to let Jake Gyllenhaal get an actual fight with a f- retired UFC fighter? That would be a good movie. That'd be cool as hell. They, just make, the, <laughs> they make it be like, Jake Gyllenhaal is the best. And then he actually actually fight a guy and he just gets the shit beaten out of him. But uh, it was interesting. I don't know. It's so funny. It's It does rule that actors get to be on juice now for every movie. And then they just never admit that they're doing that. That's my favorite. You know, it's better that they're on PEDs and not pedos, though. It seems like we're getting rid of all the pedo actors. How do, what do you think about that? You mean like pedophiles? <laughs> yeah. Pedos, and P, pedos on PEDs. <laughs> Dude, that would be a nightmare. You got a jack pedophile running around your neighborhood. Some guy built like Rich Piana. Remember him? No. Some dude that looks like Ronnie Coleman running around porking kids. Ah. You got a big trouble in Little China. I'll tell you that. That is not good. That was that's, a better one. That's the episode That's the episode title, Pedos on PEDs. Dude, Ronnie Coleman would be terrible. God. Pedophile Ronnie Coleman. You got a high T pedo. That's no good. Guy can deadlift like 600 pounds. You try to stop him from taking your kid. He rips your arm off and beats you with it. That's really what was going on with the Hulk. He would just Hulk out and start molesting kids. Do you ever, you ever wonder? Molesting everybody. Nobody ever tried to kidnap you when you were a kid, right? No. I always wondered. I was always jealous of kids who got kidnapped. I'm like, I want somebody to at least try. Roll the dice on me. You know what I mean? I was cute enough. What did I not have as a kid? That committed. Yeah. I'm like, come on, man. I was a tall kid, though. Nobody wants to pork a tall kid. You know what I mean? Like a 4'11", 9-year-old, that's no good. I feel like anyone who's taller than you feel like they'll be able to fight back. Yeah, it's like that chick on TLC, that midget lady. (laughs) <laughs> she looks like a she looks like a grown woman and then her husband like every dude she dates just immediate pedo you're like well this is a nice loophole if i don't say that that's what i'm gonna start calling chicks buttholes loopholes like shack and nice. his wife yeah she's 411 oh <laughs> a poor poor lady <laughs> beautiful princess shack seems like he rocks though mm-hmm. yeah he just gets to hang out and be huge that would be so annoying dude being 6'5 and getting clothes is annoying because every time you wear you wear a hoodie one time and now look at me what am i supposed to do get a, a double xl no because then i'm gonna be swimming in it i'm gonna be dressed like the guy who's just begging me for money some guys i'm like you ever notice some of those dudes clothes are in such good shape like the, my neighbor, my next door neighbor, they're wiggers. They have clothes from like 1997 that are in good shape still. I'm like, how are your veins shot out, but your clothes are immaculate, dude? It's crazy. They they steal like so much construction shit, and then they come home and like, do you need anything? I'm like, no, I don't. Want, do I need to use two by fours with your blood on them? We have fucking hepatitis on my walls of my house. No, I'm all right. I do got that shower working upstairs, brother. And can I come see it? Yeah, I'll love you. We'll Let's take go. you in there. You're going to have to earn it, though. Shit. I won't drop the soap. <laughs> yeah. God. It's also like nobody had to drop the soap in jail. Do you think who? it's like that must have happened to one guy and then that became the cliche forever? It's just going to be a bunch of huge guys holding you down to fuck you. You don't got to drop the soap. Also, how loose is your asshole? You drop the soap and immediately get a dick in your ass? Is that guy just hard in the shower? Well, you're like kind of lubed up. <laughs> Yeah, true. And also, like, when I don't think they do bars of soap anymore. Like, they probably no. feel like a dispenser. 
Yeah, well, there's so, like, probably tons of guys in there who are just waiting for the cheeks to hit. The yeah, they got gays for pays now. Gay for the stay. You ever heard that? No. They're just gay for the stay, brother. I, uh, yeah, that would suck. I remember every time my brothers would get out of jail, I'd be like, well, how's your butt? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but nobody, it's like nobody wants to fuck a 6'5 guy. Both of my brothers were tall. Unless you got a fetish. Yeah, what do you, you had to get like a little squatty potty to get up on to fucking <laughs> fuck this dude? Like, yeah. <laughs> Every dude he comes out of the shower just got swole up calves from borking him from. That's why I could ever bang in the shower. Were you ever a shower bang guy? Yeah, dude. Yeah, I did when I was like 19, 20. And then I was like, hey, you know, they made beds for this. I'm Catholic. It's got to be a walk in shower, though. A walk in? You ever try to do it in like one of those college dorm type deals? Like bath like, I didn't go to college. I didn't <laughs> I didn't have bath houses. No, I was on construction sites. Well, even like an apartment. It would be like the bathtub shower. It's like Yeah, man. tub shower. No, yeah, you need a difficult. stall. You need something that you can brace. Hell yeah. Also, my feet are too slippery in the shower, dude. I'd be slipping all over the place. I don't know, but dude, something happened when I turned like 32. My feet started sweating like a fucking whore in church. I don't know what's going on. I'm all over the place. I used to be sweaty feet. No more? Nah. How'd you cure it? Dude, I don't know. I fucking hated shoes and socks. That would just be so uncomfortable. What would you wear? Flip-flops? Nike. I could see you being a flip-flop guy. Well, yeah, I used to wear flip-flops to high school. Slides? Sure. Yeah. Slides yeah, or thongs? Winter. Did you do thongs or slides? No, thongs. Thongs and jeans, dude. <laughs> yeah. Did you have long hair? That's like a Hollister move. Uh, for you were, my life. You wore thong flip flops to school. Damn, I remember. Oh, yeah, I remember people would wear. Girls used to wear those jelly looking ones. The they were like little rubber flip flops, and if you stepped on them and they tried to walk, you could pop the middle piece oh, out. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. was the best. I forgot about that. Like Hollister, cheap ass. Yeah. Also, dude, when I was in high school, everybody would have got me too. Good lord, fucking guys were giving girls wedgies all over the place. Not me. I was respectable, <laughs> but yeah, dude, that used to be the thing. Remember people would get pants? Were you pants some people? I <sighs> wasn't, but I saw a lot of locker room dicks. Yeah, I was not a... I was, you were a Peter Gazer. That's what they call that. What? <laughs> Peter Gazer. They call you Peter Gazer? <laughs> well, ice hockey, the locker room was ridiculous, so you always saw dicks. Uh, a lot of homoeroticism in there. Well, Guys pretending to fuck butts. Sometimes in some of the like hockey locker rooms... You just hear a guy off the... the, 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 the <laughs> column. So like, Ooh. It comes out and you're all staring at each other's dicks. Oh, God. Like, God. Keep your eyes up. Bunch of Italians from Jersey looking at <laughs> each other's pieces. DeCicchio, D'Angelo. Did you play a lot of hockey with a lot of Italian guys? There was a fair amount. Yeah. Dude, I forget. I definitely, there was like a scandal where people got hazed, but I don't remember it. Now, all of our, oh, yeah, I don't think we've really had that, nothing that crazy. We did have a fat guy try to race somebody in gym one time. It was like an athletic fat. But uh, he ran too fast and ran to try to stop himself at the end of the wall and broke both of his hands or broke both of his wrists. And I was like, that is good. I have a friend who did that on a skateboard. Broke both of his wrists? He did a trick, landed, and then pushed his arms on a brick wall on the skateboard. Mm. Broke both of them. God. Got to get some milk back in you. Remember they got milk ads? They would never do that now. People would be like, you're going to abuse these cows and take the milk, Tiger Woods? Like, Tiger Woods is busy abusing pills. Stop worrying about fucking milk. There's like a heated debate about like about, about milk. About what? I, dude, I don't know. About what oat milk? Just, about, 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 there's about, about, about. Dude, the headphones hearing myself fucks me up. But yeah. uh, there's a debate about whether milk actually strengthens your bones. Mmm. Like, that's kind of why they don't. <laughs> In my mind, I was like, like yeah, it definitely works. Because white milk, white bones, it works. <laughs> that's what I thought. You're just fortifying your bones. You just got slippery ass bones now, baby. I, uh, yeah, I don't know. I thought there was calcium. Calcium makes bones seem. People say it degrades your calcium. No. I know, dude. I just it's had like a chocolate milk. Theory. I just had a chocolate milk yesterday. You think <laughs> milk debate is the same as flat earth? I can't wait for like four years when all the deep fakes get so insane that nothing's going to be real anymore. I can't wait. It's Have you like, seen like the Joe Biden, Donald Trump Obama. playing video games? Yeah. Dude, I fucking love it. Thank God. I love that there's grown men that are that retarded that'll spend that much time making something that believable. Yeah, they write the script and then they, they basically like feed it into an engine. And then it, oh, it, is that what it, it is? does all the picture stitching and everything. Jesus. But they have to write the script. That's the only part that's human input. You can write scripts with Jet Chat GP, right? What's that? GP? Yeah, Chat GTP, GPT. Dude, kids are going to be so dumb. Nobody's ever going to do schoolwork. Yeah. 
damn. You can like, ask it to program something for you in like whatever language you want. That sucks. You got a computer to do it, dude. Go back to the old school way. I used to have to convince ugly chicks to do my homework. Fucking work for it, dude. God, I remember that every homeroom you'd have to find some fucking lady with a lazy eye to figure out my math homework every day. Killing me. Did you see pretzels before homeroom in high school? Sometimes we'd have Philly pretzels. Oh my God, a piping hot pretzel and a nice Rosenberg's iced tea. All of our sugar spiked our, cheese sticks uh, at lunch. Did Chick Fil A? Yeah. What? They would give out chicken sandwiches. Very straight of them. Respect. Was that before all the gays got mad about that? I don't know, but they did Domino's pizza too. Domino's. Mm, I feel like Domino's is taking a step up. Well, I mean, when you when I was younger, dude, that was the shit. Domino's, dude. I just got a Domino's like a month ago after a comedy show, and it was too hot to eat, so I opened the pizza box towards my air conditioner and let it all waft in there. <laughs> Cooled it down in like two minutes to perfect temp. That's smart. Big brain stuff. Write that down. I, um, what else did I have to complain about? <sighs> the fucking fights. The fights were good. I stayed up way too late after them, though. I had a massage yesterday. Brother, you ever done a hungover massage? I've never had a massage. I don't recommend it. This guy, my fucking boy who does it, he was, like, crushing me. And I'm hungover. I got a headache. And, you know, whenever you get massages, you get boogers start running. Like, just put a bucket under me and catch all these fucking boogers. It's crazy. I think they, like, loosen something up. Knock something loose, dude. Never heard of that. Yeah, I don't know if it's a thing. I think my nose is just stuffed up and he's rubbing me down. I'm like, Ugh. and you have to talk to the guy. Nothing's worse than sitting in dead silence, getting massaged. I feel like I'll start getting sexual urges. My cheeks were out. I, I would have done AirPods. Huh? I would have done AirPods. I don't want to talk to him. But then I'm trying to, ex but then I'm trying to explain all my ailments. I'm like, my tootsies. Rub the toots. Rub the stinky ass feet. And thank God my face was down for most of it. No, no homo. But <laughs> I would, dude, I was so hungover. I'm like, I do not want to breathe like vodka breath in this guy's face for fucking an hour and a half. Do they make you shower before? I mean, I do as a common courtesy. Yeah, but what if like a. I don't know if they the make you. Room? Yeah, you come in there, just have to spray you down with cologne. Like, say a homeless guy just got like 20 bucks off the street and wanted Ooh. to get a 15 minute. I think the, I think the, I think it's like 100 bucks for an hour. Mm -hmm. That's like standard rate. But it's worth it. My an hour's are like long. Yeah, I was too relaxed. I came home, smoked a joint, had a hoagie, and passed out for like six hours. Woke up, watched The Last of Us, and I got I got five guys yesterday. <laughs> Not five guys, Nifty Fifties. The debate was between five guys and Nifty Fifties, and then Uber each picked the friggin' Nifty Fifties in South Philly. There's one five minutes away. Never had Nifty Fifties. Nifty Fifties is good. Nothing to sneeze at. It's not like, well, I mean, it's not like good. It's like a but, like good burger? I mean, it's fine. It's better than McDonald's. It's like a step up. Which, we just had a debate on fucking Twitter the other day. What the best fast food was, McDonald's, Arby's, Wendy's, or Chick-fil-A? What are you saying on this? Chick-fil-A. All day. Chick-fil-A is good. Wendy's used to be the move. The doesn't have enough burger. options. Really? I've never had a burger from Wendy's until recently. The Baconator was the Do shit. they still have the square patty? The Baconator was, but I don't know if it still is. Like Burger King, Kiss My Grits. Would they even exist anymore? They do have the chicken fry that was good. Yeah. Chicken fries were good. Arby's still reigns supreme to me. I know everybody thinks I'm crazy for saying that, dude. You are. They have chicken fingers, roast beef, freshly carved, mozzarella sticks, jalapeno poppers, milkshakes, all the sodies you can want. You can want. The fucking sauce is better. McDonald's tastes like rubber. Wendy's fell off. Remember they had the spicy chicken nuggets? Where, Wendy's? Yeah. No. They had that. That was good. But I feel like Wendy, I don't know. I think it's just what I grew up around. Plus, my mom worked at Arby's. My brother worked at Arby's. I got lo I got loyalty. You really need an Arby sponsorship. I really do. Yeah. And they need to put one back in. I would put one in my house if I was rich. What would you have? Your, I would have an Arby's and I'd have a lady who washes my hair by hand because that's so nice. People, that's underrated. No rich guy has that. A nice shampoo artist. I don't know, dude. You kidding? If I if we can really expand the horizons here, I just want new socks every day. New socks, not bad. A new, new pair of socks feels. So that's good. like I would see. In, there was like a video of Chris Brown's closet and Rick Ross's closet. I'm like, why do you have that many outfits? If I was a rich guy, I would just have two. I'm just mad at cool black guys. <laughs> I'm like, why do you got all these cool clothes, dude? Gay. I would just have the most. I would have the nicest T-shirts you can have, and then I would just have a million pairs of Levi's and boots. And a couple of chucks. Plus, I'd have foot surgery. What else would I do if I was really rich? Know what I would do? I would sponsor lacrosse teams in the hood and just take over that industry by storm. 
Could you imagine if there was a hood lacrosse team? If I go to North Philly and start up a team up there, guess what? Guess what's over? Braylon and Chase. You're fucked. It's over. Between two NHL games, the XFL was on. And we started like trying to guess if there was other like XHL, like extreme other leagues, yeah. what people would run them. Because The Rock does the XFL. He He's runs the, the XFL? He's the commissioner. Can, can he take it easy? He's so, doing too much shit. I hate him and Kevin Hart for just like, can we just, what's enough? You know what I mean? It just is go, cool, eat, go eat piles of pancakes. It's not cool. All right, Mike? No, the XFL is. Why? Remember he hate the, me? The kickoffs are different. You can go for three points and... Uh, I mean, you can just wreck people. Like, fucking. Like CT, like the, the slap hitting, The hitting penalties are way less. Oh, you just do whatever you want? There's not a lot of rules. Well, yeah, those guys are making, like, what, 500 bucks a game? Like, how much is a fucking XFL guy playing, making? Dude, there were a lot of NH, uh, NFL uh, players. Like, like retired, former players. Dropouts or. Who? Oh, I remember Josh oh, Gordon, dude, the I guy can't. who got booted out of the NFL for fucking smoking weed. He was like one of the best fucking wide receivers in the league. And every they interviewed him one time. He was like, I did a couple shots and bong rips before games. I'm like, let him fucking play. What, who cares? I hate these people. Yeah, they used to smoke cigarettes on the sidelines. Oh, my God. If you could bring back a smoke, a stogie smoking quarterback, half of those guys would have got broken in half. They played now because everybody's just too fucking big. There's like six five, like two hundred and sixty pound guys running four twos now. There was like a defensive yep. end that ran like a four three something. You're like, what the fuck is going on? It happens at every sport. Someone ran a mile at a three forty seven. That is insane. I could do that on a scooter. What? A razor scooter <laughs> razor scooter. Easily dude. No way. A three forty seven mile? You don't oh uh, yeah, it's not as fast as running. What am I talking about? <laughs> I was like a scooter. Murder a scooter? Put me on a vest ball, fucking trash that guy. What's the fastest you ran a mile? Uh, I've done like a 520. That's like fast as shit, right? I mean, that was eighth grade. How, so how fast of a clip we running really that? Good. Could you do it now? No, nah, dude. I run like six minute miles now. <laughs> Pathetic. Yeah. I could do that on a scooter. Maybe. On a bicycle? Well, can you go? It's like 13 miles per hour per average. So you'd have to, mm. scoot, you'd have to scoot 13 miles per hour. Am I on a hill? <laughs> dude, I don't know. Uh, don't you get the speed wobbles? I was not good at the speed the wobbles. Speed. I'm too tall. Yeah, like going do you, downhill. Yeah, yeah. Do you ever fall? Do you start to feel it, dude. Like, I was. We were coming home from football practice in seventh grade, and I was on a kid's bike. The back pegs of his bike, Mike Urban. Shout out to him. And I got scared. We were going too fast, and I thought I could jump and pick up speed immediately. Did not work out. I cut the tip of my fucking finger off. Uh, on what? I thought I heard ruckus out there. There probably was. I really hope I get to beat up somebody on this podcast. <laughs> you want to talk about views, brother? I'd be like one of them Russian fight promotions. <laughs> Knock a guy out and then make him by weekend of Bernie's him for the rest of the episode. Yeah. What were we talking about? Uh, you cut your finger. Bail oh, I pegs. cut my finger. Remember, did you hide a lot of injuries from your parents as a kid? No, my parents didn't give a fuck. If I hurt myself, they would like, wait three days. And if you still are complaining in three then days. Then they take you? Yeah. Yeah, I tried to hide. Dude, I literally like clip the, f the tip of my finger off like this much of it you could like see the whiteness of the uh like oh. all the meat it was bad the, na yeah. the nail was off and i thought i could just wrap it in a t-shirt and i got back to my house and just dum it dumped all over the floor dumped in the trash can i tried to hide in my room my mom was like oh my god yeah cut that bad boy off i used to always try to hide injuries i kicked my stepdad one time and broke my leg on his knee oh. <laughs> yeah and uh but i hid it for like a day and then uh, he made me sit on the kitchen counter and jump off. And I was like, oh, and I like, <laughs> I was like, see, perfectly fine. Like lowered the other foot, like took like 17 seconds. They took me to the doctor and I had to re-break it. Oh. And my dad, he still says the, the guy was drunk when he had to re-break my leg. Cause it was like 10 o'clock at night. They called the guy, they called the leg breaker guy in. guy had a couple whiskeys. I interrupted his poker night. He gave him and broke my shit in half again. <laughs> Fucking son of a bitch. My car's still not back from the shop either. Caliber collision. Where are we at with the, on the car? They had it for the three Tacoma, weeks. Right? Three weeks. They've had it. The black one. Three weeks. I wish I could do a Trump impression. Three weeks. Sad. It's fucking killing me, dude. I gotta drive to New York tomorrow. What are you doing to me? Comedy. Yeah. Work. No comedy. Sadly, there'll be four people there. 
every time I go to New York, it's like sometimes it's good, and when it is good, it's a bunch of lesbians that hate me. <laughs> so then halfway through the set, I'm just like, you know what? Fuck you. Fuck all of you. How about that? Would you guys go to college? You better than me. That's the best. I always have sets, and then I come off, and I'm like, I hated that. They hated me. And everybody I'm with was like, no, they didn't. I'm like, they did. You didn't see that one lady's face. It sucks. You always concentrate on one chick who just despises you, and you're like, she never would have liked you anyway. Her boyfriend's got corduroy on. <laughs> a lot of corduroy guys. You like corduroy? Do you ever pair? Hell no. Yeah, I don't think I can pull it's too it off. rigid for me. Oh, yeah, you're I a like sweatpants man. Yeah. Yeah. You are kind of a yoga guy. Maybe I'll get into yoga. I need to calm down. I keep thinking I'm going to, like, I, I already got to go. I'm going to dinner tonight. I, I want to go to dinner earlier than 7 o'clock tonight. That's how old I am. If I'm not partying, if I'm not ripping and running, ripping and tearing, brother, I want to be in bed at 8 o'clock, 8.15. Belly full. Hmm. I think go to up? the what? When do you wake up? When do I wake up? Six. Yeah, if you go to bed eight. I mean, if I, I mean, I slept till eleven o'clock Saturday, hung over as shit. But nice. Yeah, there was one of those. Not, every time I go out after my second drink, I go into a time machine. It's two thirty. I'm like, what the hell? I've been trying to get it together every Monday for the last twelve years. <laughs> I'm like, this is the one. We turn this shit around this week. And then Sunday night, I'm laying there eating a hoagie like, you fat piece of shit. You've done it again. I did I just, that Friday. I'm just too much. F- what? The teleportation to 2 a.m. Yeah, hammered? Uh, no, not hammered, but we were at a bar and my family friends, they had like Italian friends that came and visited. And he was rolling like. Bellissimo. He was rolling like cigars? C- cigarettes. Like cigars or cigs? Bar. Were you smoking them? I tried one. Yeah, they're delicious. It tasted like a mild cigar. <sighs> Nothing's better than a nice cigarette. Good Lord. A cup of coffee. I wish I could just fully lean into that, man. I don't have it in me. I'm too vain. Yeah, I don't like it either. I want to be a fat junk food eating dude. I want to have a Taco Bell breakfast, a black cup of coffee, and a stogie in my work truck. I want to be that guy. Just fat as hell, ass crack out. We were at Trader Joe's last week, and the guy's whole asshole was out. Were we talking about this? I think I did talk about it last week. I don't know. Truly killed me. I don't know. That's what I wanted. They should make an Oculus game where you could just be a homeless guy. <laughs> Have you done VR? I've, yeah, I did it once after a show in Virginia. We met this guy. Me and my boy Cody Wright were drinking, who I was just with on Friday. Cody blacked out again. Uh, <laughs> but we were drinking, and uh, we were running out of beers. We went down to smoke a cigarette at the front of the hotel, and we were complaining about not having beers. And the guy was like, I got a couple beers. You guys want to come to my room? And we were like, yay, but all right, of course. And we get up there, and the guy had a towel on the floor, and he was playing Oculus. And he was like, do you guys want to try it? And I was like, oh, hell yeah. But What's I played a towel it. on the floor? So he didn't like walk off, like stray off the towel. It was like the game pad, like so he didn't walk off. Safe area. And we were like, "What are you here on work?" He's like, "No, I told my wife I was here on work, so I could come." He lived like twenty minutes away. Just drove to the fucking hotel, got hammered by himself, and played Oculus. I'm like, "Brother, your marriage is not going to end well." That's so sad. <laughs> it's so sad, but also so sick. Because that, that's how sad life gets for some guys that their happiness is going off and jerking off alone in a hotel room. So You're me- cheating on me, aren't you? Yeah, with a fucking towel and an Oculus. <laughs> what a bummer. But, um, yeah, he was like, so he had us playing the game, but the game was like some game where you just like build blocks. You had to like move around. It was stupid. And then he's like, you want to see this other game? And I had the Oculus on. He put it on. It's just dark. And you heard a knock at the door. And then it opened up and it was some chick. I'm like, what's this hot chick doing here? And then she comes in and starts sucking me off. I'm like, did you put porn on? I heard the chick, like, she, she like, unzips your pants, and I took the Oculus off. I thought I was about to get hit in the head with a fucking brick. This guy's going to beat me to death and pork me on this goddamn towel rack. <laughs> so I took that off. I'm like, ah, I'm all set. I'm just going to have a couple of beers. <laughs> I kept drinking. <laughs> I came, stayed in his hotel room, kept drinking, and my buddy Cody tried it. And at some point, I passed out, and the next thing I know, I just hear screaming. Because apparently I fell asleep on the guy's couch and he was like, time to go and grab me. And I like, I like arm drug him in my sleep and started choking him and then choking, Co- I had choked Cody and like a full Nelson and was rearing and get choking the other guy. And I woke up to that. Cody bit my arm. Yeah, that was not a, yeah, it was not a fun hangover. But what then we he like put the porn thing on? It was just a dude blowing you. <laughs> I would have been like sick. <laughs> God, dude, that that's a you I feel like you can't get past that. Once you start jerking off to Oculus, you start jerking off in a different dimension, it's over for regular pussy. Pussy's out. Video game pussy's in. Are you still sober off the porn? I mean a few times a week. Uh, well, I'm, it uh, kind of makes me sad because like, <laughs> like I felt like when I went the two months. You were like it was like proud. Yeah, and now you're yeah. back. I am. Uh, 
Dude, well, you think porn's more addictive or heroin? No, actually, they compare the two. Really? Yeah, the dopamine hit is about the same. Wow. Where's regular pussy out on the scale? I don't know. Heroin. I think it's a internet internet porn, orgasm. Porn. And uh, orgasm heroin. And then once you've orgasmed enough to internet porn, the dame's broken. Well, there was a cool experiment. This girl, basically, they put a thing in her head, and it causes her to have an orgasm. And they gave her the button, and she pressed it 6,000 times in one day. <laughs> No other room for thoughts up there. <laughs> Wasn't even eating. I don't even think girls really do have orgasms. I think it's a feminist psyop. It's not true. George Soros is trying to make you believe that women come. It's not true. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, that sucks. Damn, I guess if you did have a cum button in your head, you'd be like, stub your toe on the couch to come. And then Quit it's gone. Job. Yeah, you're just fucking whacking that thing all day, dude. Damn, that sucks. But, yeah, people got to be so much more addicted to Oculus porn. Probably. That's what the future is going to be, just people chilling at home, jerking off with Once their mind. body suit, it's game over. Well, can't you, like, you can get one of them flashlights that, like, rotate and then just suction that cup oh, that onto the wall? Can you imagine? Dude, there's 14-year-olds across the country getting caught doing that right now. Fucking, like fucking a mechanical fuck sleeve with an Oculus on. And you're like, Mom, I'm sorry. <laughs> if I saw my kid doing that, I'd shoot him in the back of the head. Just put him down. It's Have over. you ever tried a flashlight? No. Nah. I haven't either. Have you? No. When I look I was like, like 12. Uh, I'm asking my brothers with the guy who invented that. Dude, what is up with yeah. this thing that you have? What the hell? I don't know. It's a talent. You are. A, I know a guy. I know a guy. Yeah. I've, I've banged a lot of chicks that are that are used to date successful guys. <laughs> and then they find little old Ryan in the gutter. They catch me time traveling at some bar at 2 o'clock in the morning. And I'm like, hey, you want to make your dad mad? <laughs> want to see a trick? God. Yeah, that's not good. But yeah, the fuck, whoever came up with that, I'm like, dude, what were you doing that you can't? I guess he had just reinvented the cantaloupe, right? Remember when people used to pork those? Have you yeah. ever banged an object? Well, they say grapefruiting is a thing. Yeah. Right. I used to know a guy that would put like uh, plastic in this couch cushions and he would bang like between the frame of the couch and the couch cushion. It's like lotion in the Ziploc and bag. Get, and get on his knees and pork that. I'm like, dude, if you're sick of your hand, the problem's you. It, you know it's not like you're not desensitized stop jerking off that much like i've been cracking one off with my by hand like a goddamn amish man since i was 20 like not 20 years old i love how i pretend i started jerking off then i got that grow i don't know when i started jerking yeah, my wonder, stepdad was like i caught you jerking when you were like full like really young and he was like i just walked out of the room <laughs> he's like i'm not addressing that just watching winnie the pooh hammering away on myself i've never been called Never gonna call. I don't think I, I have. Well, you say that, but I'm sure. Like, what's your parent gonna say? Walks what in. What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> get <laughs> your my mom. Would get say. true. She was like, Michael. Come on, man. Come on. <laughs> yeah, stop coming and come on. <laughs> my mom, when she found condoms in my room, she just wrote a. I had a bunch of condoms in like a curve bottle spray or a curve like box, and she didn't even bring it up to me. She just wrote a note that said, "We need to talk," and I was like, "Oh yeah." <laughs> My God. When I was like 12, um, I had a friend that knew another friend had a flashlight. So I was at his house and he went to the bathroom and the one friend pulled the flashlight out of the closet. Started eating it. No, he just put it on the desk. <sighs> and then the other friend walked in and saw it. And he's like, what the fuck? Where'd you find that? And then he had to explain to him. What, in your dad. top drawer under your socks where every other dude kept everything? It was like to the right under a shoebox. Yeah. But yeah, he had to explain that his dad bought it for him. So that you had to put that in like a drop his... ceiling. <laughs> yes. His dad basement. bought it for him. His dad bought it for him and gave him condoms and told him to practice. Yeah. Do you ever jerk off with a condom before? No, I've barely used pop condoms. <laughs> Respect. Probably three in my whole life and all three ripped. Damn. Dude, I remember the first, like when I first started having sex, I lost a condom or I broke a condom in a chick it got stuck no I thought it did but I was banging with a t-shirt on remember in high school because you had to sneak dude I was in a girl's I was on a futon in a goddamn basement alright I'm like what are you am I getting butt naked a shirt condom no I had a condom on but I had my shirt on and I was wig, so it was a long shirt. So the condom broke and was around the base, and my shirt was covered. I was like, where's the fucking condom? I just remember plunging a finger in there trying to scoop, and I'm like, I just blew a load in your sis. <laughs> sister. You gotta make her get it out. Yeah, I'd love how I just said I just blew a load in your sis, not my sister. I meant like sister. 
<laughs> Once you get in trouble with a girl, you have to immediately call her sister. You're part of the brotherhood now. You're like, yeah, I don't know. I'm fucking yapping. Oh, my God. Yeah, that sucked. Dude, I remember I always used to think if you had a didn't have a condom on, you put your penis anywhere near a woman you were pregnant. She was pregnant. Remember that? Dude, I used to get scared because I would jerk off in the shower. I'm like, what if it gets on my sister? <laughs> you come on your sister? Say like you came in your pants or some shit and like it goes in the laundry. And then hers is washed with yours. I was scared her underwear would have like residue on but it. I wonder how many incest babies have been created like that. The washer, certain detergents do reactivate cum. And everybody really? knows that. <laughs> yeah, that's factual. Uh, yeah, dude. I don't know. It's been a good week. It feels like global warming is upon us again. We keep getting lucky. Every, I mean, this is the first winter we've done this, but we're going to be in trouble when summer starts because we are in a brick hot box, brother. Greta Thunberg. I think we'll just start doing podcast shirtless. We'll just go nude. I'll I'm come down. out. I'll come out in my underwear. We'll do sweat lodge episodes. <laughs> just sweat out all the booze I have in my system from the goddamn weekend. Yeah, I wonder what it's going to feel like in here in the summer. Hot as shit. Yeah. But we'll get something going. I'll figure something out. Mini split. Yeah, I might cut it. Just cut an air conditioner into the brick wall. <laughs> just knock out a couple bricks. Get that going. We could probably get something going. We'll just fan our nuts. <laughs> We'll have industrial fans going so you don't hear any audio. It's just me sitting in the air conditioning, ranting racist stuff. I don't know. Let's be a good week, though, Mike. How much, What time are we at? Uh, 40.30. Mm, 40.30? 40 minutes and 30 seconds. What a special treat. I think we should start going back to church. My buddy just texted me about that. What do you mean? Like going to church again. Where was the last time you went to mass without a funeral? Uh, I mean, I go to service every uh, Sunday, but... It's because I work there. Every, oh, what do you yeah, what do you do? Video it? I run their Zoom room and all the microphones and the piano and the organ. Oh, damn. You're like a fucking DJ at church. Yeah, I've got a song. You're Skrillex at, per- yeah. at church. You should start dropping beats on songs. <laughs> we need so to church this up. Every, every, blah, 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 blah. Just put Molly in the fucking... <laughs> give everybody Revelation Molly. Four thirteen. My buddy just texted me. He was like, when was the last time you went to church? I'm like, maybe we should get back to that. Get back to church. I feel like you're only Catholic till the first time you get pussy and then you stop Catholicism. And then you every don't. Sunday for two years for me. Yeah, you stop being Catholic when you get pussy, and then you don't get Catholic again until you hate your wife. And that's the message we're going to leave on this week. It's been fun. Subscribe to the goddamn podcast, and don't try to fucking rattle me in any more Facebook groups, dude. Not cool. I'll fucking report that whole group. Fucking pieces of shit. I want to know. I wonder who did it. I know. That's what I was saying. Who's the culprit? I don't know. Well, pull up on me. I'll beat your ass. You think it was a guy or a girl? If it was a joke. Like who? I don't know. The worst part is I've been such a scumbag in my past. I was like, fuck, who did I DM? Did I DM? And then I was like, no, I definitely didn't. I thought about it for like hours. I'm like, there's no way. My girlfriend would put a fucking needle right in my eyeball. You've met her. She's a nice little lady. Nice lady. She's really nice, but you can tell she's, yeah, got, she's got the demon side. in her. Yeah, that bitch will throw I something at you. She's on demon time all the time, brother. Subscribe to this podcast. We'll see you next week. Love you. Bye.